No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. I'm here today with Guap Tarantino. How you living, man? You did what I'm saying. I'm high as fuck. Yeah, you are? Yeah, I'm geeked, though. I've been, I've been high since I landed. <sighs> we got something in common, then, too, bro. I've been smoking blunts all day doing other interviews, and now it's it's slowly like catching up to me. Like, holy shit, I got to power through these interviews off despite the fact that I got so much cush up in my system, you know? Yo, I got pop up. you got to pop a snatcher to get me out of here, man. Yeah, yeah. Snatch. I got an e-pill in my pocket. I'm going to take it halfway through this interview. <laughs> I'm going to take a perk. I got generic perks in my bag. I'm going to take some of them. Yeah, just power up. I got a perk, too. Uh-huh. Do you really? <laughs> you go viral right off that. You want a perk set? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I got it. Huh? I always bring that shit up, and everybody always knows exactly what I'm talking about. That's like one meme that everybody has seen. Nah, man. Look, got it like that for real. You oh, know, yeah, that yeah. my little cousin. I've been learning with him shit, man. We be geeked up. He walked in here, and he was like immediately like, I need a bag of chips. I can't take this perk unless I get a bag of chips. And then we, we gave him a fucking soda. He put the park in there. All of a sudden, he had a blue soda, and he was just, you know, that's that's what he's he's getting by off that, I guess. Yeah. You love that shit or what? Yeah, I love, I love, I love, I love, I love everything. <laughs> Girl, it's just now. How old are you? Twenty three. Twenty three. Yeah, I just turned twenty three. Yeah. Yeah. When did you start doing drugs? Let's get right into the good shit. <laughs> Nah, like, shit. You saying do a drug, like, I'm doing crack. <laughs> like you're living under the bridge and shit? <laughs> also, for the record, Guap got, like, ten of his homies in here right now. <laughs> no, for real. Nah, the accusations real. is coming up. Nah, like, you know, like, I tried it when I was, like, 15. I was about 15. Then, mm. then I started, then when I turned, like, 18, I, I started doing jet perks. I wasn't smoking. I was just popping perks. Right. Drinking lean. Then eventually I started smoking. Right. And I just do all three of them. <laughs> what were you do? What were you like as as a young kid? Take us back to the the childhood. I was version. like, I was like, I was bad, but I wasn't like just bad. Like I felt like I wasn't bad, but everybody you said I was. You feel me? Like mm. I was like a clad clown putting you down type nigga. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Too much personality. The nah, same reason that everybody likes you now is, is the reason why you, you probably weren't doing too good in school and the teachers probably weren't too hyped on having you there. Nah, it was like, it was like, like I used to do my work or I had, you know, a girl or something do it and then I used to disrupt the whole class. At, you feel me? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So it's like, I always did my work or I had my work done, but I just used to just, everybody else couldn't get their shit done because, you know, me. You had too much personality. You were treating the class like a fucking stand-up comedy routine. I was treating like whatever the hell I wanted to do. <laughs> Teacher with that, though. They fuck right. with it. But you weren't getting in trouble. You weren't, like, getting suspended all the time. You were just pissing the teachers off. Yeah, I was getting suspended and shit. But uh-huh. I ain't really, like, it wasn't like, it was like once in a year where I get suspended for, like, slapping somebody or some shit. Mm. Other you than just got to make a statement. Caught, yeah. <laughs> you know, and then, yeah. Right. So it'd be like once a year I get spent on some shit, uh-huh. on some crazy shit. What's your? And old- then I would be at the end of the year. <laughs> you get arrested young or? or- Hell no! I just always used to. I just always used to get caught by the police, but they never took me to jail. Really? Yeah. Why? Wow, you just never. You never had enough evidence. Yeah, they never had enough evidence. Why? Because you had to stash somewhere. No. <laughs> they just couldn't find it. Yeah, finessing. It's a blessing. Finessing is a blessing. So, you dig what I'm where are you from exactly? <laughs> I'm from Atlanta. I'm from Zone C. Okay. Yeah, I'm from, I'm from Kirkwood. Hey, well, I stayed there. What? I oh. stayed on the whole east side. Was Chapel. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm That's from the east side of Atlanta. So you grew up? Did you grow up knowing how legendary Zone Six is from a, a rap perspective? Hey, yeah, that nigga Gucci had that shit on smash when I was goddamn getting older. Right. And then, because you're young enough that you kind of grew up always knowing about Gucci and shit, right? Yeah. Mm. So it's like, yeah. So it's like, and then when my cousin got down, he got the shit on smash. So it's like, which one? Your cousin? Future. Oh, Future's yeah, your cousin. Future's I didn't cousin, know that. Yeah. So it's like. I just, I just wanted. I always grew up and had this shit on Smad too. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you were, you were a, a teenager, and you knew that your cousin was future, and that were you like close with him, or were you like just aspiring to be that close my, with him? That my boy. You knew him like real well. That my boy. Okay. He put he, when I was ten, and I got eleven. I got my first studio. He came to my house, tried to put the shit together. For real? Yeah. Was he when you were eleven? So twelve years ago? Yeah. Oh, so you knew him before he was really a name. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, I got cousins I ain't never talked to, so and I don't give a fuck yeah. about ever talking to them. I still got cousins. I'm still mean. <laughs> I ain't no little guy in key with my cousin until uh, last year. They're your cousins too. Yeah. Holy shit! Why is everybody in Atlanta related? 
Everybody has some thoughts. <laughs> freak Nick. You guys freak are all Freak me. Nick babies. <laughs> freak Nick baby in the 90s. <laughs> they're they're all nodding and shit. It was going down. You know anybody who was born, who, who was conceived at Freak Nick? That's a good question. <laughs> yeah, probably me. <laughs> I don't know shit. That was back in the day. You're, you're like sitting around as a kid. Your parents are telling you stories about Freak Nick like as a bedtime story. <laughs> See, like, nah, they ain't really, really tell me like that. My daddy, he he told me when he got out, like, he told me about it when he got out of jail. He ain't really tell me, like, growing up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but I heard about that shit. I, I wish I was born then. I'm on that. Yeah. I'm on the freak Nick shit. I think they got to take everybody's phones or something because I feel like with social media, it's, like, a different thing. Because you, you ever see, like, all these videos of girls sucking on those cucumbers in the club? Yeah. I, that's, that, that's the I kind of shit I picture going down at freak Nick. Yeah, Just it's worse than shit than that. This is Atlanta, 2019 <laughs> freak Nick, but they fucking on the everywhere <laughs> on the CNN sign. You gonna see some folk fucking on the CNN sign, man. Definitely, it going down <laughs> in our town this so, summer. <laughs> <laughs> this is the summer. Nah, for real. Wait, okay, so so do you like? So you're like paying super close attention to Future's career, obviously, since he's your cousin and shit. And what was it like seeing him all of a sudden start blowing the fuck up where in the course of a couple of years he went from n- unknown to mega famous? It was just like, you know, it was that shit like to me, like from my perspective, because like, you know, I was like he was him, but I was still like in a fan perspective. But this was my cousin, you feel me? Mm. So I'm seeing all these folks like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just watching him like change, his music change and shit. And that shit just, that shit just always like. That shit just always like inspired me. You feel me? Mm. <clears throat> but I was doing music for. I was I was rapping, I was rapping and making rhymes shit when I was eight. Like, really? Look like yeah, but it was like seeing him like really made me want to like really try to do that shit. Right. Cause like somebody that close could do that shit. I know I can really really do that shit too. You feel me? Uh-huh. <clears throat> and uh, it's crazy too to think that like even before Future really blew up, he he did that tape with Gucci. So you must have been like, holy shit! Like it's about to happen. Man. That was in the early I days. I knew it was finna happen, goddamn. I knew about the rats on rats on with everybody else. <laughs> really? So I already knew what the fuck was finna happen. I already knew what the fuck was going on then. For I was real? telling everybody at school, like, man, my cousin finna blow up. Y'all don't even know it. Okay. Then, goddamn, a couple of days later, that song came out, the rats on rats on. Yeah. And it been up ever since. That's crazy. Damn, so you seen it, it up close like and personal. Grade. Was I he? remember that shit. It was ninth grade. Cause that's how I got cool in, and that's how I got cool with like the singers and shit. <laughs> Cause they uh, every like it wasn't even just me like all my cousins like who were around my age like in school like they used to call us free band or shit like that like right in high school and shit like they would, just, they would just be gassing you up <clears throat> hell yeah you can get clout off anything in high school fuck that clout shit <laughs> you don't call it that or what I call that it just shit it just be like shit that shit just a blessing like you know what I'm saying yeah that's a fact <clears throat> all the good shit that comes with it. Um, yeah, yeah. What, what do you think you're most motivated by? Money, fame, women, nah, like, Percocets? <laughs> nah, it's really like myself and like being broke before. Like, so it's like never not trying to go back to that. Mm. Motivate me, you feel me? Right. And want to do more shit for more people in my family and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like shit like that. Like that would keep me really going besides right. like myself and just the love I got for music. I love this shit. You feel me? I be in the studio every day. Yeah. You got that, that workaholic <clears throat> mentality? Yeah, hey, yeah. No days out type shit. Like, mm. I ain't got no studio. I'm mad type shit. Like, mm. Put some labor out and everything. You got to have that mentality. I feel like if you, once you start making the centerpiece of your life, like going to the club or some shit, that's when it starts falling apart for a rapper. But when, I feel like by this point, motherfuckers know, like. I ain't really dropped no music in the year. I just been in the studio working, working with other artists. And everything. My last real mixtape was Geico. You feel me? I dropped Free Money with, that was a collab mixtape with a producer, and I dropped a little EP with Nav. Oh, real, yeah. You know what I'm How'd saying? How'd you but get cool with Nav? <clears throat> man, it was just like, we just seen each other and just clicked, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we was, uh, we was in Atlanta. Uh. And Future, Cash, them came to the studio, they just flew in. And uh, we was at the studio, me and Future, Casino, a couple more, we was at the studio, and they came. And, and uh, Future uh, introduced me to him, and 
it just locked us in one and we made like five songs one night that night right and bitch was hard is that your first indian friend yeah <laughs> nah, Kyle Fitz, I got down. I had a buddy back in the day, and ain't no way, but he was Mexican. Okay. That don't count. Yeah, it's different. It's all a whole different country. <laughs> but what do you think they about like, working with Nav? Like, like what, what was that like that was different than working with a lot of the normal dudes you work with? Nah, it was, it was, it was regular. Cause I, I already, like, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm real comfortable. Mm. And, you know what I'm saying? I'm real comfortable with it. My music and how I record and just it period like the music the studio so it wasn't like you know what I'm saying. I used to make fun of Nav, but I'm a, I'm a fan of him now, so I kind of feel bad about <laughs> talking shit about him on Twitter, Twitter back in the day. <laughs> Not even talking shit, we just used to have jokes about him. But I, I gotta admit, he's pretty good. Nah, now nah, cool, I fuck with. Him. Yeah, he's hard. Um, okay, so you're just a kid. You're doing music since you were eight. You're watching Future. What? When did you? first start to like find your your groove musically or, or start to get any kind of recognition man like shit when i was like 14 14 13 shit 12 and shit got down i made my first mixtape when i was like 12 and, and i took it to school and gave it all the kid in my grade mm. got down and then got down we were going to uh this gang rink Mm. And got down. I was trying to get the DJ shit, play the music and shit. <laughs> I was trying to do that shit like two years. They ain't start playing my shit. I was about got down, fifteen. Right. <clears throat> but yeah, like basically, I used to just shit go to like every every team, anything team on the east side. I used to go to that motherfucker thirty deep, mm. forty deep. Got down. Shit, you gotta get noticed. You come everywhere. Got down deep in here like that. <laughs> So that's just really, and we just used to go perform at parties and shit. That shit just started getting bigger and bigger, and I started like putting like shit on like different, uh, different little websites, and shit like uh, SoundCloud and shit like that. Mm. And different folks started fucking with me and shit. How are you pulling up forty or fifty deep though? Like I feel like it could be tough shit, to man. assemble a squad was, that big. Man, we was got your whole neighborhood shit, we or all what? Stayed around like it was. It was this game rink called Golden Glide. Okay. Oh, chap. So is the oh, skating exactly. rink? Skating rink is kind of the, the spot you could get popping in Atlanta on a very, very underground level. As a kid. As a local level. Yeah, as a kid. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we were going to, so you know, like the glide is on West Chapel. Everybody from goddamn, man, everybody from the East Side used to come that bit. Before you kept West get dropped off, walk that motherfucker. <laughs> I done walk that motherfucker before, like, <clears throat> man, everybody used to get that motherfucker. Yeah. And just going there, getting the name there. You know, being folks up, shit like that. Yep. Until until folks start recognizing you, and then you go rap. You graduate to the real clubs you later. You got to do something though for folks start fuck with you. Got to jump folk, <laughs> beat folk, cut, you know. You in the skating rank before until you hit like eighteen, and then you start hitting the eighteen plus clubs. Nah, I was doing that shit at sixteen. You were you were getting like in the club. I was going to the like the like the eighteen and up clubs and shit. Uh -huh. and I was going at thirty deep. Really? Yeah, yeah, cause like. We are, we was already known, so like say like a host or a promoter from the teen shit do the the grown folk shit. They used to just get us in right. on some rap shit. So they used to let us come to the club and perform, but we used to come with 30, 40 deep. Uh -huh. We were being for grown folk ad too. <laughs> and then I started getting mad and shit because I was really trying to take that rap shit serious. Uh -huh. and then, you know, we, we claimed free band doing this shit, and it was like, ooh, slick making the name hot. You feel me? <clears throat> so it was like. Damn, I so you were making it hard for, for Future because you guys were going places and, and fucking nah. shit up? Just, hell no, nah. it was just like, we was just being for ass, screaming free van, <laughs> and doing dumb shit. And right. We, you know, that wasn't the right way to do shit. Okay. But I started just like, really just taking that rap shit serious and shit. Just really just trying to move right and like move, you know what I'm saying? Trying to do the right shit. Right. And I ain't never had no, like my mama, she used to manage me and shit. <clears throat> and then, like, the older I got, the more, like, in the streets, I started, like, jumping out the porch and shit, you feel me? Uh -huh. So, like, it was a point when it got down. I was out the porch all the way. My mom, she went, she was like, you want to be out the porch? Then I ain't fucking with you with the rap shit. Shit like that. But she still helped sometimes, shit. But, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, I just had to learn this shit myself. Uh -huh. From, like, when I was, like, really, like, 16 and a half, 17 type shit. You dropped out? <laughs> No, hell no. I no, you finished? You did good in school? I graduated. Oh, hell. Huh. 
Hey, I graduated. I can't remember my GPA though. <laughs> it was high though, I think. It wasn't. It wasn't it's been a long it time. Was, it wasn't fucked up. I can't remember my SAT score. I Whenever I hear people talk about that, I, want, I always wish I remember. I ain't take all this shit. Yeah, I just it. got my diploma, man. Shit. Fuck all this shit. I went. To, I tried to go to uh, college. I got down. I got kicked out. For what? <clears throat> I got kicked out because I got down. Uh, now I was on academic probation for my attendance. Cause I wasn't really going to school and shit, and college shit like that. Cause, uh-huh. You know, I was bullshit. Trying to make some money, drinking uh-huh. shit. Having fun. Yeah. In the streets. Yeah. That kind of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, got kicked out. School don't like that. Fuck this shit. <laughs> um, okay, so when did your your music start to like hit to the point where you really felt like it was like going somewhere though? You really started to get opportunities and shit. Um, I don't know, cause it's like it's like shit, bro. I always felt like my shit was popping. It's like I was I had friends and shit out of town and shit. I know they playing my shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Like Tess got down. Tess, he from Baltimore. God damn, I know he playing my shit. You know what I'm saying? So I know he got damn folk fucking. Like, I just knew, like, I had, like, I just knew I had to keep going, like, if I really wanted to do it. Like, I know how that shit go. Yeah. You know, you just got to grind for that shit. You seem like you're, like, hella tapped in. You know everybody. And you got all these relationships that you kind of, that, you, like, you understand the value of, like, being able to network with people and know everybody and shit. Hey, yeah. Like, mm-hmm. hey, I had to learn all this shit myself. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. Just like fucking up over and over, like with different shit with the music. Mm. Just learning this shit myself. Definitely. Getting it all the way together. What's your uh, lifestyle like at this point? Like, what are you doing in LA for BET? BET I just weekend. been like, I've been performing a couple, I had a couple performances on uh, what, Thursday, yesterday. And then uh, I really just been in the studio working like, that's why I do so. Out here too? Yeah. <clears throat> so I just been in the studio. Me and the gang, we've been in the studio all night and shit, working and shit. We right. just be really just like, that really be the main thing, like having songs, bro. You just got to always have songs. You got to always be working. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That That's a fact. Over with. What, uh, what's your, your favorite music of yours? Like your favorite shit that you put out that you're most proud of? The favorite, like my favorite, like. Like your shit, like musically, like just the shit that you that you're the most proud of, that, that you think represents you the best. If you had to tell somebody to go listen to your shit that isn't oh, familiar, Black Boy, Black Boy, that shit, that shit got down. You know, it really like, it really like me. Uh huh. Feel me, Black Boy and Casual, that new shit I just dropped, cause that shit true. Fucking these whole Casual, that shit Casual <laughs> now, making money, this shit Casual now. You got hoes. Hey, yeah, I got a lot of hope. <laughs> you know, but I don't entertain all of them, but I have a lot of hope. Right. Clean you down. You mean you don't walk. entertain them? Like, you ain't got time for all that? Yeah, like, yeah, like, entertain them. Like, yeah, I ain't really got time for this shit, but I got a lot of hope. Mm. That's for sure. You're trying to make sure they don't take you off your pivot? Clothes. Like, bad. I have more hoes than clothes, man. <laughs> you dig what the fuck I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. You're not the girlfriend type, you couldn't do it? Man, like, I I try this shit, man. I just not that type. Yeah. I I can be a girl like best friend or like I can be there for a girl. It's just I just it's just certain boyfriend shit that I just can't get with. Right. <laughs> Ain't on that type of time. <laughs> Shut up. You're moving at your own speed. Yeah. Definitely. For sure. Do you get shot? Yeah, I got shot. When? When I was nineteen. I saw the the that there was a video of you talking about it, but I'm like, I'm not watching that. I'm gonna ask him about it. Yeah, I got shot when I was 19. What you know, happened? Some humble shit. Nigga, I got down. <clears throat> Young nigga outside, we was at this little party shit in the apartment. And some uh, niggas outside, you know, bullshit. With some other niggas, the nigga got, you know, shooting up the party. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't like your beef. It wasn't nah, something specific nah. to you. It was just some bullshit that you happened to be around for. Yeah, hell no, nah. nigga, nigga. Really, I really ain't got beef with nobody. You feel me? Like, I stopped all that beef shit. Like when I was like, seven, eighteen type shit. Like, cause really? I was getting a lot of money. Cause I was got down <clears throat> I was getting a lot of money by then, so I ain't really care too much about all this stupid ass shit. Yeah. So everybody really, I just it was like some humble shit. You know what I'm saying? I was just wrong play, wrong time. Uh huh. Feel me? 
It is what it is. Where'd you get shot? I sat on the side of my stomach. Oh, okay. Yeah, that shit, it went in and out, though. Did that make you rethink being a larger man? It might have, like, not even hit you if you, like, were a little smaller. Hell no. <laughs> the doctor said, God damn, if I was skinny, I was over it. That shit would have shot a kitten or some shit. Right, because you so, feel like if you hit if you hit the fatty part, then it's going to be all good. It could go right through that. You'd be fine. It went right through that shit. Right. Yeah, so you weren't in the hospital part. for, like, weeks and shit? You were hell all good? Hell no. I wasn't in a hell no. Talking about, hell, I, I ain't going to never wish to be skinny, bro. <laughs> Clean you down. You don't like that? No. You don't have it even in the back of your head? Like, damn, I want to fucking get it together. My shit together. <laughs> yeah, you about, oh, my shit together. I'm doing everything skinny man doing. It's the whole from the side and all. Oh, word? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's good to know everything's still functioning, yeah. Yeah, this shit work. I've been trying to get in shape, man. I'm fucking working on it, man. Yeah, I've been getting in shape, though, like, for, like, Music, you get mm. what I'm saying? Shows and shit, not for See, like lose weight, right? You know what I'm saying, but I mean, I lost weight though. I lost a lot of weight. Bro. There's a special place for like fat dude rappers that are like they're like like when you see like a Rick Ross who can take his shirt off and he's fat as hell and he still looks cool. That's a very important lane. I ain't that type. Of, I ain't no Rick <laughs> Ross that nigga. Though. You don't take the shirt off? Hell no. Rick Ross kind of lost a shitload of weight though. Yeah, he lost a lot of weight. Yeah. But I ain't on Rick Roll time. Okay. I'm on Big Guap time. Yeah. <laughs> no, not because like my music, I make I make up tempo hype music, so mm. it's like, shit, right. you gonna think you on stage with a skinny nigga? That's even more of a reason. <laughs> yeah, when I first heard you, I definitely thought that I was listening to some young ass little boy because you got that super like up fucking voice and shit. You got high pitched voice and everything. My shit ain't high pitched. You don't think? Hell no. Nah, <laughs> my shit deep. Deep. <laughs> my shit deep, bro. What uh, who who do, who are you like? really like influenced by when you think about your style like who you you sort of like gave you the flow that you have i mean like i really just listen i really just listen to like slime and pluto you feel me mm -hmm. i just really listen, you know or like people i, I know or I, myself like and you ride with me you listen to my song i got a million songs you gonna listen to all me and them bitches mm -hmm. so <clears throat> so i just really just like I just be like playing with music, like I just be so comfortable. Like I just, <clears throat> it's just a feeling, like man, it's just a feeling with music that nigga get, and I just be walking on beats. Yeah, mm. I might walk a beat different ways. Like I got a lot of like don't you? I want to play song that's really sound the same. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I, you know, I just you know, but I'm influenced by like you know, Future Thug, shit like that. You punch in. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, you don't never write anything down, right? Hell no. no it's old school. <clears throat> that shit over with. <laughs> Bro, I ain't, I ain't right. Shit, I done forgot to spare some shit. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> That's a good point. People probably like all think that rappers have like, well, no, I don't think anybody thinks rappers have good spelling. But the fact that nobody's writing anything down, you don't even got practice writing anything down. Yeah. You ain't got to write shit down. Mm. Unless you sign your name on the check. Where'd the name Guap Tarantino come from? Uh, well, shit, my name was Guap already. Uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So then, like, 12th grade, got down, I, uh, I had saw that movie. It was a movie made by uh, Quentin Tarantino. Uh. So I had, like, Nick, we, I, was, I made a song, I was like, I was like, Guap Tarantino. Said some shit. I was just like, Guap Tarantino. And I was like, man, that shit kind of hard. <clears throat> so, shit, I just killed this shit. A lot of people hate Quentin Tarantino. I don't give a damn. A lot like. of people love Guap Tarantino. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you consider yourself completely removed from him? Yeah. His movie's fire, though. No, his movies are fire, but he's kind of weirdo. If you ever watch like interviews with him and shit, he's sort of... He's intense. I like him, honestly, but a lot of people get on his ass about all that shit. A lot of people get on my ass about a lot of shit. <laughs> do they? What do they get on your ass about? A lot of shit, bro. I be doing a lot of shit. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I be true sometimes. <laughs> That's why I got to stay high. Yeah. I'd be geeked up. Quiet, you'd be an asshole if you weren't? You'd be super aggressive and shit? People say I'd be bipolar. I don't know. I don't see it. I'm People Gemini, think you're bipolar? Bro. Yeah, I'm a Gemini, bro. So yeah. They say it's because of that, all that. I don't know. I might be bipolar. <laughs> I ain't give a fuck. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't think anybody ever thrown that at me. I just get people telling me I'm too negative, too critical. Critical? Yeah. 
Just yeah. everything. I'm just like, you know, somebody will walk in the room and start talking. I'll just be like, yo, you got to shut the fuck up. This is stupid. Like, I don't want to hear that. And like, I'll just, somebody will pull me aside later and be like, bro, you're tripping. <laughs> like, you don't have to be that aggressive with people. Hell no. Nah. Yo, I got them. <laughs> Yo, I got to interrogate the guy. I'm from the East Coast. I feel like we're just like way too intense. Like on on the on the West Coast, people don't understand the way that people in like New York talk to each other because we're too aggressive. We're too fucking. Yeah, I can see that though because we do talk like a different way. But everybody in Atlanta is hella friendly and shit. You guys got a different demeanor down there. Shit, cause we just be kicking shit. Yeah, we be really chilling. It's like the most laid back, friendly state. We be chilling, but we be on the bullshit too, though. Yeah. But we be chilling the majority of the time. I don't really see that side of it, you know. I, I I get to see the rappers being nice to each other. I don't really get to see the any of the negative stuff, really. I read about it. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. <laughs> Facts. Um. All right. So, what what do you got coming out? Like, what's the plan in terms of uh, new releases and shit that you want drop, people to look um, out for? I finna drop the goddamn. Just charge them up, mixtape, find them, I'm finna drop this motherfucker. I've been holding them motherfuckers since goddamn for a minute. For real, like, fan be saying crazy shit in my DM, mm. on my comment. I be writing nigga back. <laughs> that nigga had be tripping. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah but. But people are thirsty drop. as fuck for yeah, it, huh? Yeah, they thirsty as fuck. They want this shit. I'm finna drop, though, for sure. I'm finna drop any day now. Okay. Any day now. Whenever I post a cover, it's going down. Damn, all right, I'm ready. Yeah, so any day. That's what's up. It's up. Need that. They've been waiting for this shit because, like, over the last year, even though I ain't really dropped nothing, I've been on a lot of people got them yeah. albums. I, I, I totally, <laughs> like, found out about you off features more than your own shit, and then I went and watched it on YouTube and listened to some tapes and shit. Yeah, like, features. I've been, I've been on a lot of folks' shit this, this past year. Just by, you know, just working and shit. It stood out a lot to me, too. Just like, damn, who is that guy? I got to go. Like, multiple different times, I went to be like, who is that? And then I went and looked at the track list, and it was you. And I was like, oh, all right. Appreciate it, bro. See, there it goes. That's how, that's how it happens. Yeah, yeah, this beauty of it. But, hey, yeah, man, I'm finna drop, though, this shit. My nigga been working hard as fuck, so it's like, this finna be like, I just been waiting to drop this shit because it's like a step on for all my new music that I got. I got new shit that's going crazy, but it's like this mixtape. I've been holding on to this mixtape so long getting it together. Mm-hmm. It's like I can't even drop this new shit that I want to. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and drop this shit so I can go ahead and just flow it. It's always like the rappers that you're working at a different <coughs> pace than what you can put out. So you're always like at a different level than what the public knows about. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, you got to send me, send me the unreleased shit too, all right? I'm saying, I seen, I seen some on. Uh, Shit, I got shit. I seen some shit from my song. Seen some shit. All right, <laughs> Guap Tarantino. It's good getting to meet you, man. Yeah, for uh, sure, man. No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, Free Band Gang. You did what I'm saying. I'm going to put my application in at some point, man. Yeah, 